Hey guys, so, um, my face is, again, very close to the camera. I apologize. I'll try and be more quiet. Um, I'm gonna cut up the Shiba Inu, the Shiba Inu tissue box. Um, I wrote Shiba Inu on the container in the event I get the... GBFKE package anytime soon. And I don't finish this before um, before I get it. I think I kind of want to do um, after I get finished kitting this up I'm going to um, I think I want to diamond paint this top part tonight just for fun um and then which i noticed something i'm sorry i'm really scatterbrained i was kind of messing around with this when i peeled back the plastic on the top part it was so much more sticky than peeling back the plastic on the sides i don't know why that is and also the um like the giant sticker, if you will, that they put around here is peeling up. Um, I'm going to seal it anyways, but I, f I feel like that's something I should mention. I'm sure once it's sealed, it'll be fine. I'm just going to have to be careful whilst I'm working on it. So these bags have the symbols on, or this train has the symbols that are on the tissue box on the actual packets, which is perfect. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just get started. It's the next one, or the, the next one. I haven't even started, you dummy. Okay, the first one is S. I'm definitely in frame. I am. Sorry for the glare at times. S. So I was thinking about, um, I wanted to talk about Diamond Art Club diamond paintings. And I'm kind of hesitant to talk about it because I feel like what I'm about to say is going to sound super polarizing and sacrilegious in the diamond painting community. But um, the Diamond Art Club paintings that were gifted to me from Emmy, like I have the urge one day when I'm able to do them to seal them, which I know ruins the warranty, but is anybody actually going to return it? What would be the, the reason for returning a diamond painting after you've done it? I guess is my question. Because here's what I'm concerned about. It's like, I, I want to do the right thing, right? I want to do the right thing. But I have pets. And when I have pets, everything gets covered in hair. And so that would be the reason for me to seal it. Um, but I know that is just a ghastly thing to say when it comes to time in our club kids. But, um, yeah, I guess that's my question. If you're someone who you know, only buys premium kits. Do you actually foresee yourself returning it in the future? Like, I guess what I'm asking is what could be reasons as to why you would return it in the future? Like, bad glue or, or what is what I'm asking. Because the kits Emmy gave me, and thank you again, Emmy. You were so generous beyond belief. But 
you know, the kits are round, so they're not square, which means, you know, there's going to be spots in between the round drills that are going to remain sticky. What is this? X. Oh, there's going to be a lot of X. So, yeah, that's what I'm asking is, um, oh my god, that's a terrible X. Is what would be a reason or reasons to return a Diamond Art Club painting? Because when I do it, I'm not going to try and return it. I don't even know if that's possible because it was a gift, but I wouldn't. You know what I mean? And if it's sealed, then I wouldn't have to worry about the glue. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if the sealer was bad. Okay, now I'm starting to think. If the sealer was bad, you know, and it ruined your painting. But how would anybody in their right mind try and make a claim at Diamond Art Club to be refunded or replaced? Why would anybody think that would be right if they ruined it with the sealer that they chose? Maybe Diamond Art Club should come out with their own sealer so that folks don't have to worry about pet hair, is my thinking. I don't know. Tell me what your thoughts are. If you have Diamond Art Club, if you're Diamond Art Club exclusive or Premium Kit exclusive, or you do a mix of the two, like, what's your opinion on, uh, Sealing, sealing your paintings, and would you even choose to replace it or ask for a refund for whatever reason anyways? You know, it's one thing if you got it and there was something wrong with it as it came into your possession. You know what I mean? That I'd understand, but the sealer wouldn't be involved in that situation. Like if it didn't have enough drills or... Um, the drills were crap. You know what I mean? I'm just curious. I'm, I'm curious as to if folks would actually try and, let's say you finish a diamond painting, you seal it, the sealing, the sealer is beautiful, it hasn't yellowed, it hasn't done anything, which that wouldn't have been, uh, Diamond Art Club wouldn't be liable anyways. If the sealer you use turned out to be bad, but you know, five years later, everything's still the same. What would be your reason for returning or asking for that painting to be replaced? I guess is what I'm trying to ask. All right, these are big, so I'm... is there a number 12 on here? There is, okay. So it's probably going to need two squares. So let me know your thoughts, please. Please. I am very new to this. But for me, I certainly wouldn't try and replace or return those paintings, you know, they were gifts. I love, I love them anyways, but also they were gifts. You know what I mean? If I fucked it up, that'd be on me. Okay. This is W. My heater broke yesterday. I got home from work and it finally died. It lasted five years, five or six years, which is, you know, I was talking to my mom about it. They usually build them to break within a year so that you have to replace them every year, you know, and mine lasted quite a few years. So I can't say I'm, I'm sad it's broken because I can't, I'll have to wait until, uh, I get paid next month, middle of next month, 
Will you all fit? Come on. I'm at the bottom there. Uh -oh. I dropped some rhinestones. I think this kit came with wax. Do you normally use the wax, normal wax, in the for the rhinestone diamond paintings? That one's pretty full. Uh, this is two. Um, I feel like I might need, my mom went back to her sister's so she let me borrow the space heater that was in her house until she gets back. June kept coming over to me by the computer, you know, running out of my craft area, running to me to the computer for me to turn on the heat for her because, you know, she's an old lady. She likes her heat. But, um, I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was broken when I got home last night. You used up the rest of your heat, June. Yeah, this should be a pretty quick kitting up. I don't know. After I work on the lid part of this, um, I'm probably going to stop diamond painting for tonight. And, um, oh, I don't want to close. And work on, um, there we go. Work on finishing coloring my images. I uh, I gave up on the one that I was trying to fix after the uh, Brute Fruiner regular oily pencil disaster, and so I'm just going to cut it out of the out of the background because this part looks fine. It's just the background. I couldn't save it. I couldn't save it. I don't want to stamp it again. Probably could have used a much smaller container for this. I don't think I have a smaller. I I have smaller containers, but it doesn't have the compartments that come out like this does, which, like I mentioned before, is what I prefer for my issues that I have. So yeah, I think I'm going to work on getting those finished up color colored um, so I can start working on that 10% video, 10% card video. And you are, G. you feel like a full packet, so we're just going to give you two slouts. This is going to be a short video, probably. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. So I guess I'll um, I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts on Diamond Art Club paintings and sealing them. I understand it voids the warranty, but my question is, why would you be wanting to return it anyways? You know, if it saves me the hassle of not brushing dog hair on it every time I walked by it, you know. That's my question. Let me know what you think. Or if what I'm saying is purely sacrilegious. Hope you guys are having a great day. Adios.